Hello everyone, how is everybody doing today? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to loop a killer, how to look behind you, and other techniques on how to mind game a killer as best as possible to make you guys better runners. Running a killer is very key in this game. You really want to run the killer as best as you can to give your other teammates a chance to finish gens and to escape. That's the whole point as a survivor is to escape. So let's get right to it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys like ways that you can mind game loop a killer. Um, best thing, let's start at Killer Shack. What you want to do, your main thing is to look behind you. Always want to look behind you. You want to know where the killer is at all times. By knowing where the killer is, you can see his red stain. His red stain is going to indicate which direction he's coming from. So when you do that, you want to stay as close to the object as possible. Stay close to the object. Know where he is. Know where he is. So you want to stay as close. Now if he turns around, you turn around. You go the other way. Now if he's still chasing you, you see a red stain? Vault the window. Now what you want to do is know where he's going to go. If he's going to come behind you, go this way. Now, you know, this is another way of mind gaming a killer because he's going to think you're going to vault the window. So if you're going to, if you're running him this way, take it wide. He thinks you're going to vault. If he thinks you're going to vault, he's going to turn around, go to the window. So you go to the window, boom, don't vault. He's going to go to the window. And at that point you can see him and which direction he's going to go. If he's going to go left, you go through here. You stay here. Stay here. Look where he's going to be. If he's going through Killer Shack, or if he's going to the outside. If he's going to the outside, you turn around and go back through Killer Shack. And you just turn around. Now, if you are getting nervous at this loop and you think you're going to go down or get hit, change it up. Like, boom. He's behind you. Vault the pallet. Vault the window. And go to another loop. Like, I already pre-dropped this pallet. Keep in mind, this is a great way to mind game a killer and knowing where he's going to be. Like, you're going to run around. You're going to see. Stay as close to the objects as possible. Stay as close to the objects. Now, if he's still behind you, fall. And then, see where he is. See where he is. Then turn around. Now, I'm going to take this wide. He thinks I'm going to vault. Fake. Then he's gonna turn around, thinking I vault, thinking I'm gonna vault and go to the pallet. You can see where he is again. Always be a one step ahead of the killer. It's the only best way you could have at running a killer. Now you're gonna go this way. You're gonna keep going around. Remember, stay as close to the object as possible. Now this is a another loop you could do. Another loop. Remember, stay close. Stay close. Stay close if you have to. Vault. But always, always, always look behind you as you're running. You don't know how many times I've seen people get hit not knowing where the killer is. Because they do not look behind you. If I'm in a game with swifts or randoms, I see, I always see people not looking behind them. And they have no idea where the killer is, and they just get hit, down, hook, and die. So it's always key that you look. Now, let's say you're working on a gen. If you're working on a gen, always look around. Always look around to see where you're going to go when the killer comes. Like, you look around, see where you're going to go, and then... Let's say the kill is coming to my right. You'll hear a heartbeat. You'll run. you automatically run to the right. Kill is behind you. Again, look behind you. Vault. Then you want to create distance. I pre-dropped this pallet already. See, this is another one. You want to, like, just keep the killer at bay. Keep the killer at bay. Don't let him... If... If he's a really good killer and he sees you looping him for a really long time, he's going to leave you. He's going to leave you. 
which gives you time to do gens and heal up if you have to or anything. But always keep in mind of where the killer is. Now, if he's good, boom, fall. Then you just keep it going. Always look at him. Always know where he is at all times. Now, if he thinks I'm going to vault, I fake the vault. He's going to turn around. Now he's still on the other side. So you just keep it going. Now, if he breaks that pallet, if you dro drop this pallet and he starts breaking it, it, it takes time to break the pallet. So all you got to do is just go to another area. Go to another area. And then my game him over here. In order to like really successfully loop a killer, it's all about mind games. Knowing where the killer is. One. Knowing the route he's going to take. And how good he is. Because a killer, let's say I'm the killer. Okay, let's say I'm the killer. Now if I'm running this way, obviously the survivor is going to see my red stain. I could always turn around, like back, like moonwalk back so I could go this way because the survivor's not going to see my red stain so be aware of that as well really good killers know how to do that and it's really it's really fun when you can loop a killer for like three three four gens it really pisses the killer off I'm not gonna lie go boom this is a TNL loop right here Obviously, you could tell it's a T and L loop because, you know, this wall is a T and that's an L. Very good looping area. Very good looping area. Always know where your T and L's are. Always know where the surroundings. If you're working on a gen, always look behind you. Always look around. Know your way out, pretty much. Okay, but you want to oh. keep him. Know where he is. Always know where he is. Look behind you. Look behind you. If he's still behind you, vault this way now. He's either going to come this way or that way. If he comes to the right, then you go this way. Always know. Like, stop. Even stop here. To see where he's going to be. If he comes left, you turn around. If he comes right, then you could easily vault this window again. You know where? Always, always, always. I can't stress this enough because I see it happen to a lot of survivors. Look behind you. It is very key. Like to keep killers at bay and keep them on you as long as possible because the longer they're on you the longer the better your team has of completing gens and everything because if you can run a kill for five gens it really honestly that's such a great feeling I've run killers for five gens I've run killers for three gens four gens it's such a great feeling it's hard it takes a lot of practice to vault, like to loop killers and knowing where they are because a lot of good killers anticipate it a lot and run good perks too like I run wiretap if I'm working on a gen and I activate wiretap it's going to mess up the killer because if he don't kick the gen I know where he's gonna be like I can see his aura through walls pretty much if he's near that gen so it's such an easy way to loop a killer. I run that perk a lot. I run that with Blast Mine. Blast Mine is if he kicks the gen after the traps on it, it blinds him. He would have to kick it again to get rid of wiretap. But it, if he kicks the gen, it gives you so much time to create distance. Do what you gotta do. So, I think... So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's a good way. That's how I loop killers. I'm a P31-8 main. I'm a survivor main. I really don't play killer. I play killer once in a while. But if you ever want to see me and how I do things or want me to make a video on anything, please leave it in the comments below. I am usually live every day, every night. I am live just playing DVD, learning my new ways on how to loop killers and prevent me from dying because I die a lot. <laughs> Not gonna lie, because I get face camped and tuttle a lot. 
So if there's anything you want to see, my Twitch will be in the link down below. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys again.